Hey, 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 want to go story today? Um, today we've made it to day 17, day 17 of Tall Texas Tales. Now, I was really surprised to find out that this particular location was considered haunted because I've been there bunches of times and I've never really had any kind of uh, reaction or felt anything or any kind of heebie-jeebies, but supposedly this place is very, very haunted. So um, the place is the McNay Art Museum in San Antonio. And for those of you who've never been to San Antonio, and if you're planning to visit, you will definitely go to the McNay. If you come to visit me, I will take you to the McNay. The McNay has such a huge, amazing collection of art that it, it's just off the charts. My siblings came to visit and I wanted to show my sister their incredibly huge wall size um, uh, Monet water lily. And my sister loves Monet. And I was like, okay, let's go, let's go, let me show you the Monet, because they were all exhausted at this point. And um, my brother's all, hey, isn't that an Andrew, is, isn't that a hopper? I'm like, yeah, that's, that. yeah, it's a hopper, it's a hopper, there's a Picasso over there, come on, let's go. And 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 then my sister's, wait a minute, wait a minute, that, that's a Diego Rivera. I'm like, yeah, yeah, there's a, there's a rim bat around the corner too, okay? And she's got a couple of Van Goghs, but come on, come on, I wanna show you this one piece, because I know you're absolutely gonna love it. And so, you know, we go walking into the room and the room is just this incredibly huge, amazing expanse of, of Monet water lilies. Clock time. I didn't realize that I was so close to a clock time. So you get to hear the clock. Sorry. Thank you for listening to the clock interlude but anyways so um so basically this lady by the name of marion kugler married this dude named mcnay and she also married like four other guys in her lifetime but she was an art teacher she had this love for art and her parents actually were oil barons so she had chingos of money Okay, so she started to collect art, mostly 19th to 20th century art, Cezanne, Picasso, Matisse, um, Diego Rivero, Monet, um, that kind of stuff, you know, Picasso's, you know, if you go, by the time she passed away, she had about 700 um, pieces of art. She donated the property that her house sat on, which was roughly 20 something acres, 23 acres, 23 acres, and it's this, um, this home was built in 1920-ish and um, it has, it's a 24 room Spanish colonial style house. It's absolutely beautiful. Um, there was a um, antique roadshow that was done here in San Antonio that was actually filmed on the grounds. And the grounds have amazing, beautiful sculptures. And, and, and it's just an incredibly wonderful, wonderful piece of, of San Antonio amazingness that you definitely have to go to. So supposedly, the ghost that inhabits the McNay is Marion herself. And, and the rumor has it, the tall legend, is that you can hear her humming along just over there in the west wing where she just prefers to hang out and some have actually even mentioned seeing an apparition now after she's passed away of course there's been a huge influx of um, acquisitions that have been added to the collection and i'm thinking to myself something had to hang out with some of these reliquies and first century pieces that have been added because there's a whole bunch of Renaissance pieces and stuff like that. Nothing in comparison to the funeral art that's over at the San Antonio Museum of Art, but that's another story. But anyways, but the only 
quote-unquote recognized ghost at the McNay is good old Marion herself. And the one thing that really, really surprised me was she's buried in a very simple grave, in a very simple graveyard here in San Antonio. Nothing spectacular for a woman who left such an incredible, amazing gift to the people of San Antonio and the people of the world. So that's your ghost story for today is the absolute amazing Miss Marion that cruises around the halls of her museum, the McNay. She, by the way, she put her blood, sweat and tears into that building because she actually made the tiles and she did a lot of the decorative art. And there's a few of the bathrooms that are just so 1920s beautiful with, with that kind of sea foam green that was the color then. And then, you know, when you walk in, you can look around and you can see the tiles that she created to give the Spanish colonial feel of this, this incredible building. So, but anyway, so that's today's ghost story, day number 17. 17 and I hope you liked it and as always you know feel free to subscribe give me a thumbs up like me share me tell your friends this crazy woman down in San Antonio is telling ghost stories and oh my god they're so much fun okay or whatever you're thinking I really don't care because I'm doing this because I'm enjoying it and I hope you do too so anyway, so that's it for today. The beautiful, incredible, amazing McNay, where you can see one of my favorite pieces by Matisse called The Red Blouse, which is incredibly amazing because it's this woman sitting there and she's in this beautiful red blouse. But over her shoulder, the artist painted himself. It's a photo bomb. Love it. My favorite piece. But anyway, so that's today's story, The McNay. Alrighty, so you remember. Love you all. Thanks. Bye-bye.